The annual Hopkinton High School Science and Engineering Fair took place. As usual, the projects were very impressive. I basically tested if the polyphenols in green tea can uh, prevent and cure cancer in a living organism. Terrific. How long did it take you to? Um, I, my study was for, for about three or four weeks. All right, excellent. Last question. What made you want to do this topic? Um, I'm really into cancer research and like me the medical field is something I really want to go into in the future. So. Abby Fisher was the lone senior in this year's fair and was recognized for her participation during her high school years. Here, so thank you so much, Abby. Abby joined our science fair program last year as a junior. For those of you that don't know Abby, this is one of her many, many talents. She's a three-sport athlete. She's a very um, enthusiastic student in sciences and many other subjects. She's been a great role model for lots of our younger students of how to kind of do it all and balance a lot of different um, commitments that she made. She's been a great addition to our program. We're really going to miss you next year, but best of luck and congratulations, Abby. Abby was also recently named a National Merit Finalist. All right, so I understand that you're a uh, National Merit Finalist. Um, can you explain what that's all about? Um, so it's a national competition that people can enter in their junior year by taking the PSAT. And then people who score in the top percentile are nominated as semi-finalists and then you can send in an application after that to become a finalist, which is just basically a personal essay and a copy of grades, test scores, things like that. And that seems like a pretty uh, tough thing to do. Uh, were you surprised to get it at all or did you uh, have faith that you are going to get it? Um, well, I was working hard towards that goal, but I was pretty surprised when I got it because it's a pretty hard honor to earn and so I was just really excited to have been um, able to achieve something like that. Alright, well uh, congratulations. Thank you. The top three projects determined by the judges were named and nine additional projects were named to compete in the regional tournament. Overall, it was the highest participation rate ever for the Science and Engineering Fair, 97 students and a total of 51 projects.